Kids can be truly baffling sometimes. Parents like to believe that they taught their children everything they know, but as toddlers continue to grow, they can come up with some seriously diabolical plots against their parents. Most of the pranks children play on their friends or family are relatively harmless, but some children took things to another level. Drawing a mustache on your parents while they're sleeping can be quite funny, but today we will be taking a look at 10 children who pranked their parents, and some of these entries are truly shocking. But before we get going, don't forget to hit that like button and notification bell. Otherwise, someone will pull one of these pranks on you. <laughs> Number 10. Many people have photos of their friends or loved ones scattered around. But the mother of this young man had many photos that had been displayed, showing various memorable moments throughout the family's history. This young man took it upon himself to prank his mother by switching all of her photos with images of Steve Buscemi. No one knows what prompted the young man to do this, but it was hilarious. He was replacing the photos one by one to see how long it would take his mother to notice. He covered up photos of himself, his parents, and his sister all in the name of a prank. His sister eventually posted his handiwork on Twitter, stating, My brother has been replacing family photos with pics of Steve Buscemi, and my mom hasn't noticed. For anyone who has left a photo on display for quite some time, it may be difficult to realize if someone has vandalized the photo or changed the photo entirely. After a photo has been out for a while, most of us probably don't even look at them anymore. We know where they are, and we know what photo is in the frame, so we just forget about them. There is no telling how long it took this mother to realize that she had become the world's biggest Steve Buscemi fan, at least in the eyes of anyone who visited her home during this time. Well played, young man. Well played. Number 9. iMessages can be particularly fun because you can send emojis to one another, share an emojis of yourself making funny faces, and even check to see when someone has received or viewed your message. This feature in particular is quite handy and it goes alongside the feature that allows you to see when another user is responding to your message. On an iPhone, when someone is typing, a small bubble with three dots appears on the screen. This bubble will remain on the screen until the person is finished typing. For anyone who has sent a particular risky text, this bubble can be your worst nightmare. Because of this, children across the globe have sent a prank message to their parents. The message is a GIF of the bubble icon with the three dots. It makes the person you're texting believe that you're typing the world's longest text message, because the bubble never goes away. The GIF is virtually indistinguishable from the real thing, so you can seriously mess with people and make them believe you're taking hours to respond. Give it a try. The GIF can be found all over the internet. Maybe even try it on your parents sometime if they're bugging you. Number 8. This prank may get you into a bit of trouble, so proceed with caution. Children have performed this prank many times in the past with mixed results. To analyze your parents' behavior before you proceed with this prank and end up making them extremely angry. If your parent works for a company or a local business, chances are they have a work email and an email account that they only use for important information exchanges within their business. This email is likely unknown to most people outside of their work environment and is crucial to daily work habits. If this email address got into the wrong hands, it could make their job rather difficult. This is why some children have decided to take their parents' email account and subscribe to various online newsletters. This is a rather simple way to get back at your parents if they've made you angry recently. But we can't say we commend doing this because it could have major repercussions on either you or their job. The most common newsletters to subscribe to involve random facts about animals, such as newsletters about how to raise chickens, online chicken communities, chicken secrets, cat facts daily, doggy potty training, and so much more. These newsletters often send multiple emails per day, meaning their inbox will be filled with irrelevant information in no time. Number 7. This prank also involves iPhone users and is another classic prank that kids have pulled on their parents for years. iPhone has a feature that allows you to input custom text replacements. This is more commonly known as autocorrect, but the autocorrect profiles can be manually adjusted so that if you accidentally type HTE, it will correct it to the. Though you can also make a simple message like, I love you, autocorrect to I want a divorce. Again, this prank can have serious consequences, so be sure to practice this prank with caution. Or better yet, don't try it. 
The only difficult part about this prank is that you need unlimited access to your parents' phone to add these autocorrect options. You could even take things a step further and make basic words like and or the autocorrect to random words like octopus or Mountain Dew. The possibilities are endless, and this can be a very funny way to get back at your friends or parents. So long as no serious harm has been done, play it safe and try not to ruin your parents' lives, guys. Number 6. This prank also involves having access to a parent's phone, but this one is seriously funny and can't cause any harm, aside from embarrassment. The process of setting up this prank will vary for different phones, but this is a classic prank that has been adapted to the modern age of technology. We have all heard of whoopee cushions. They are small inflatable balloons that you can hide beneath furniture or couch cushions so that when someone sits down, the air is released from the balloon and it sounds like a fart. <laughs> well, you can do the same thing to your parents' text tones. Since this prank has been done so often, your parents may immediately catch on to what's going on and ground you. But hey, a laugh is worth the risk, right? If you can get access to your parents' phone for about 30 minutes, you can look up tutorials or download apps to allow you to install custom text tones or ringtones. You can then make all of your parents' important text messages sound like farts when they ring. The next time your mother or father is in an important business meeting, it will sound like they are passing gas in front of everyone. Number 5. This prank can have serious consequences, so we do not ever recommend that you try it, but it can be funny in the right situations. The website Bustle reported a prank that can be used to alter the automated response on your parents' email account. If your parents are out of the office for a while, they have likely set up an auto response that will read something simple such as, I am out of the office until Wednesday. If you need anything, call me at 555-555-5555. Though you can easily update this response to make them sound crazy, with Bustle suggesting you change it to something like, I am out of the office. During this time, I will be locating my spirit fish by scuba diving in the pond behind my house. In case of an emergency, contact the cookie monster. Number 4. There isn't much to this prank, so we will keep it short and sweet, pun intended, but it can be quite funny. If your parents drink coffee or use sugar in their tea every day, switch out their sugar for salt and say nothing. They will take a sip of their drink and wonder why it tastes horrible. There is a chance they may never know it was you and think that the sugar or coffee has somehow spoiled. This is a pretty harmless prank that can be tried out on virtually anyone. You didn't spit it all over me. God damn! You mother You mother God damn, God damn! What did I do? You put, you got, yeah! Number three. This prank was featured in an episode of The Office and has become a classic around the world. If you have access to your parents' home office during this time of quarantine, grab their stapler and a box of Jell-O mix. I think you know where we're going with this, but make the Jell-O, place the stapler in the Jell-O, and wait for nature to run its course. Once the Jell-O is set, put the stapler back in their drawer and wait for their response. That's real professional. Thanks. This is the third time and it wasn't funny the first All two right. times either. All right. What is that? It's my stapler. No, 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 no! Do not! Take it out. You have to eat it out of there. Number two. If your parents are superstitious at all, this prank can be hilarious. Do your best to imitate their handwriting and write a letter that is addressed to themselves and signed from themselves in the future. Throw a stamp on it, stick the letter in the mailbox, and wait for the prank to reveal itself in a couple of days. Your parents are bound to be freaked out. Number one. This final prank was also featured in an article by Bustle and can be seriously hilarious if you have a sibling and patience. Get a large enough box that you can fit inside of it, preferably an Amazon box or a box from a company that they are familiar with. Get inside the box and have your sibling tape it shut, though leave the bottom of the box untaped so that if an emergency takes place you can easily escape. Set the box on the front porch or inside your front door and wait for your parents to get home. When they try to open the box, jump out and scream but be sure to record their reaction and share it with us because this prank never gets old. Look at your room. Look Where's your room. the rest of my stuff? Look, Look at your room. <laughs> 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 yes! 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 Thanks for watching.